Let's look back at the highlights then from race two in round six of the International GT Open. It was Pierre-Louis Chauvet who led them off the line, but Charlie Fagg, the aggressor at the start, going bounding down the outside past Reese Barr and past Christopher Hasser to take second place in the initial stages. Reese Barr actually ended up dropping back a couple of spots, uh, but he would uh, recover them alongside Mikhail Patamba eventually. There we see Fagg getting around the outside, Hasser in third place. There's a couple of cars, including our race winning car had to skip over the curbs at the first corner. Diego Menchaca found himself in a bit of a scuffle with James Wallace in the early stages of the race. The uh, first few laps not going quite according to plan for the Motor Park team having to come up the order from 12th on the grid as James Wallace found himself in the gravel a couple more times as well. We had a safety car uh, early on for Marat Rajaroglu who ended up in the gravel at Ascari, a scary moment there. For the man celebrating his 60th birthday, the driver changes uh, came on and Maximilian Paul took over. And we had uh, another incident here, Giuseppe Cipriani getting pushed into the barriers and uh, ending up in the escape road at the first corner. And then uh, another incident here, which would be the AF Corsa Ferrari slamming into the side of the Get Speed Mercedes, taking them both out of the race. And then equally at the same time, Frederic Jusse ending up in the gravel at the first Lesmo as well. All that happening in a very short space of time meant we needed another safety car. When we got back underway, it was Marilyn Jelly leading the way in the unhandicapped car. Maximilian Paul found himself in the gravel after an aggressive move from Thomas Neubauer, but Marilyn Jelly soaked up the pressure from Mikhail Pitamba and took a sensational victory for AF Corsa Ferrari on home soil.